Happy Wednesday, hump day, almost there. So for this warm up today, you have a four minute AMRAP. So you can set a clock for four minutes and just work through these three exercises. First, you have five, one, two, three, four squats. Tore up those legs and teach you how to squat better here. So first you're gonna reach down, touch your toes. Then you're gonna sink your butt down. Your arms go inside your legs. Then you're gonna raise your hands up and then you're gonna stand up. So stay in that order. One, two, three, four, five of those. Okay, keep those heels down, chest up at the bottom of the squat. Then you're gonna go 10 single leg RDL. So this is body weight here. Pinching at the hips, keep a slight bend in that front knee. Extend out and then switch sides. So you have five each side here, 10 total. Last one, just get your heart rate up a little bit. You're going 20 crisscross floor touch. So cross those feet, touch with both hands at the bottom and you're still hinging at the hips here. Perfect. So four minutes, work through those as many rounds as you can. Then you're going into lower body. You have four rounds through here. First, you're gonna go six each, single leg RDL. So just like the warm up, but the weight, you're gonna have a weight here. So whatever hand is holding that weight, that leg is gonna go back, okay? Slight bend in the front knee, going down past your knee, and then pulling through. Notice how she's staying in a flat line as she goes back. You want no rotation there. Straight down, straight up, okay? So six each side. If you have a heavier object, it's less reps, so try to go heavier. Then you're going six each split squat. So split those legs about um, two feet apart here, you're gonna sink down, drop that back knee to the ground, and then back up. So the front leg is the leg that's working the most, so you wanna have the weight in that front leg. Six each side. If this is easy for you, you can always elevate your back foot on a couch, a box, a bench, whatever, okay? Six each side there. Last one, you're gonna get 10 object glute bridges, okay? Working these glutes a little bit more. Um, you're going to put an object on your hips, you're gonna drive through your heels, sink tummy towards the sky, squeeze your butt at the top for a good two seconds, and then come back down. Okay, so you have 10 there. Your glutes are gonna be feeling great after four rounds of this. Then, going into that conditioning piece, okay? You have a good long one today, pretty simple though. You're going squats and running. So, you're gonna start with 21 object squats, chest up, sinking down below parallel. You have 21 squats with whatever weight you have there. Then when you get 21, you're taking off into a 200 meter run. Yeah, spurn it out. When you get back, you're picking up your object. You have 18 squats. So keep that good form, shoulders back, chest up, sinking below, parallel, back up. Then 200 meter run again. Nice. Oh yeah, sprinted it out. Then she's coming back, sprinting back. She has 15 object squats if she ever gets back here. <laughs> 15 object squats all the way down all the way up yeah then 200 meter run then 12 <laughs> squats then a 200 meter run nine object squats 200 meter run six object squats 200 meter run then three object squats 200 meter run so good news is it gets easier as you go okay yeah. so just keep that perfect form with that squat as you fatigue because those legs are going to be feeling it have fun let us know how it goes Woo!